So we are talking with former undisputed lightweight champion of the world, Nate Campbell. A few seconds after you post face to face with Krzysztof Schott, your Saturday opponent, uh, what are your impressions about him? He's shorter than I thought he'd be. I thought he'd be like tall. I mean, I didn't realize he was that much shorter than me. I mean, like, I was expecting a guy at least this tall. I'm like, wow, he's shorter, much shorter, but much stockier. So I'm like, hey, go make a fight. It should be a good fight. What have you seen in his eyes? He's a fighter. Do you, I mean, I don't, I don't, I didn't see any fear, so that's a good thing. That means that we will be fighting. It won't be a runner versus a, me chasing him down. He'll, he'll come to fight. Is that true that you haven't watched much of his fights? I haven't watched much. I watched him fight. Um, I watched a few on YouTube, but um, it is what it is. So you think it will be much more about you than about, than about him? It's always about me. I never worry about what the other guy does. I, I do my job and the other guy has to do his job. I don't, um, I don't study another guy to beat him. I study another guy to win to fight my fight. Mm -hmm. A few fights back, I think after you lost to Victor Ortiz or Walter Estrada, you stated that you are not no, no longer able to compete with young, hungry guys. You had some physical issues. Uh, is this after you? Is good old Nate Campbell back? Oh, the good old Nate Campbell's back. The good old Nate Campbell, I can, you know, I'm back is back is good. I can bounce a little. I can move. I, I'm I'm enjoying who I am. I'm enjoying being in my skin again. Mm -hmm. And what happened with those physical issues? I had um, what was called a piriformis syndrome. I had a sciatic nerve that runs down between two muscles that was compressed together. So I had to do all these extensive stretching exercises that I have to do till the day I die. I'll always have to do them. Um, and you know, it wasn't just the walk, it wasn't just the physical issues. It was the marital issues. I was going through a lot of marital problems back home. Now all those are behind me and I'm ready to fight again. I, I mean, if you have a question about my, if people have any question about me being focused again, all you have to do is ask, um, ask Victor Cayo. I knocked Victor Cayo out in, in Dominican Republic in March. So for me, I'm just doing my job. Maybe Victor Cayo was easy to fight for you because you're best friends of Roy Jones and Victor Cayo is not the best copy of Roy Jones Jr. I don't know if I don't know if it was it was it wasn't that it was so easy. It's the fact that I was focused. It was just focused. Mm -hmm. I'm focused to fight. What is your weight right now? Because we knew that we know that uh, you had a problem. So uh, in bouts against I Ali Funeka. I fight. I fought last fight. I made 138. Mm -hmm. um, this fight was a didn't know who the opponent was. So the fight is at 143. So we're we're more concerned about it was more concerned about getting someone to come in and fight on short notice. Both of us were short notice fighters, mm -hmm. so it was not like our fights was our fights were made six weeks out. Our fights were made only what two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So for us, I mean, so neither I don't expect him. I don't I don't, I don't expect it to be as easy for him to make weight as it is for anyone to make weight that that quick of turnaround. How much sparring you did before this fight? Um, I did quite a bit. Um, I always spar. I'm always sparring. I'm always in the gym helping somebody else out. Um, I'm still a fighter. I still love to go in and help other fighters also. Mm -hmm. If you win this fight, if you so beat, when, I win, when, if, I win. When, when you win this fight, what's next for you? I don't know. I don't, I don't think about it. We'll see. I'll come back to Poland. <laughs> and fight who? You pick him. I'll fight him. Okay, thank you.